WUSA 9 News at 11, we're getting brand new details about the murder of a 10-year-old girl in Northeast D.C. and the person arrested in her killing. 19-year-old Karan Gregory is behind bars tonight, facing murder charges and Ariana Davis's death. This just a few hours after he made his first appearance in court. Thank you for being here with us tonight. I'm Lorenzo Hall. And I'm Leslie Foster. And tonight we got our hands on the charging documents in this investigation, all 45 pages of them. And they tell us more about the suspect in this case and what exactly happened, according to police, on the day of this shooting. Our Casey Nolan is staying on top of this big story for us tonight. He starts us off live from D.C. Superior Court in Northwest D.C. And Casey, it sounds like prosecutors have a lot of evidence against this 19-year-old, huh? They certainly presented a lot in court today, Zo. Tonight, their suspect is behind bars waiting for his next appearance here in court. But today, prosecutors laid out that evidence that they say proves he is responsible for Ariana's death, even if he didn't pull the trigger on the shot that killed her. For all of the guns and the bragging about using them in this video, prosecutors say it's the backpack that's featured that helped them connect 19-year-old Karan Gregory to the shooting that killed 10-year-old Ariana Davis. 53 shots in just 15 seconds on Mother's Day this past May. Some apparently from automatic weapons, according to charging documents released Tuesday. Investigators say Ariana was in the back seat riding with her family when this Audi SUV in front of them stopped on Hayes Street Northeast. They say at least two suspects got out and started the shooting. According to court documents, more shots were fired in return. And as Ariana's family tried to back out of the crossfire, they heard a younger child sitting with her say, quote, don't die, Ari. That's when they realized the 10-year-old had been shot in the head. Ariana died three days later. Investigators say they have video of their suspect, Karan Gregory, setting the Audi on fire just after the shooting. They also say these still images in the court documents are from videos showing Gregory wearing a gray backpack. According to the documents, an informant sent police to this Instagram account but only knew the suspect by his street name, Ran Ran. Police say facial recognition software identified Karan Gregory as a possible match. When police searched his southeast apartment, they say they found several guns and a gray backpack with a gun inside that matches the caliber of at least one of the weapons used in the shootout that killed Ariana. Now, Gregory's defense attorney says this is all circumstantial and that prosecutors can't prove he shot and killed Ariana. Prosecutors said they believe that doesn't matter. They say he is still responsible because of his alleged role in that broader shootout. And at the same time, they say they are still looking for other suspects. In fact, they have a $45,000 reward still active for other suspects. Meanwhile, Gregory is still behind bars. The judge ordered him held here, Zoe, without bond until his next appearance later this month. Yeah, we know Ariana's family was in court today as well, and I can't even imagine what they're feeling tonight. Casey, thank you. And by the way, those charging documents had a lot more details. You can find a full write-up with updates on the investigation right now on WUSA9.com.